Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Pedalboard Tips. Today we're looking at delay types. So I have three pedals in front of me. The first one is a digital delay, it's the Strymon Dig. The second one, a tape delay, the Strymon El Capistan. And the third one is a analog delay by Diamond, it's the Memory Lane Junior. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that uh, all those pedals are digital delays, but some of them are emulating some types of delays. So, for example, the Strymon El Capistan, obviously it's not real tapes, it's not real reels. <laughs> um, so, it's a pedal, so it's digital, but it's very good at emulating tape delays. It's uh, the same thing for the Memory Lane Junior. So, I'm not going to explain how this is made and why the delays are sounding like that. I'm more focusing on how they sound and what are the tonal differences between the pedals. Um, right now I have the mix and the repeats uh, set up the same um, almost on all the pedals and uh, no modulation, no nothing, just so we can hear um, the difference in tone between the pedals. So I'm going to play single notes and chords and uh, you will hear the differences between them. So as you can hear, the first delay, I can describe it by uh, bright and pristine. So the digital delays are really true to your uh, original sound. They are really bright and piercing, so it's good if you want to uh, pierce through the mix with them. Um, the second one, the tape delays, are more uh, worn out sounds. So um, it's like a broken delay uh, behind your tone. I really like that sound. In the analog delays, uh, there's a little bit of high-end roll-off, so they are definitely warmer. Um, uh, as the repeats go, you uh, kind of you get some uh, dirtier repeats, if, if I can say, and it sounds just a little bit more vintage. So now I'm going to add some modulation to get um, some movement in the sound, and I will play with each pedal.
So I think the differences are fairly noticeable and each delay pedal has its own characteristics. So if you're looking to buy two or three new delay pedals for your board, I really recommend to get different delay types because they complement each other well and you get uh, many different flavors to choose from on your board. Of course, these are not the only delay types existing. I think they are the most popular, but you can find other types on multi-FX or stomp boxes like the Strymon Timeline or the Eventide Time Factor. So that's it for today, guys. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and tell me in the comment what is your favorite delay type. So until next time, take care of yourselves, guys.